Words can have a powerful effect on people, even when they're generated by an unthinking machine. When you hear coherent speech, like what you are listening to right now, your past experience leads you to believe that it's written and spoken by a thinking, feeling human. However, you can't really be sure. Some speech that appears remarkably human-like is actually generated by AI systems that have been trained on massive amounts of human text. Despite the fact that most people associate fluent language with a human who thinks and feels, it can be hard to accept the evidence to the contrary. How will people navigate the relatively uncharted territory that lies ahead? Because people tend to associate fluent speech with intelligent thought, it is natural, but potentially misleading, to believe that an artificial intelligence AI model capable of expressing itself fluently also thinks and feels as humans do. Because of this, it is unsurprising that a Google engineer recently claimed that Google's AI system Lambda has a self-awareness because it is able to eloquently express its feelings. As a result, a number of posts and articles were rightly skeptical about the notion that computational models of human language are intelligent. The question of what it would mean for an AI model to be sentient is actually quite complicated. More interesting is to look at why it is all too easy for humans to fall into the cognitive trap of assuming that an entity that can use language fluently is sentient conscious or intelligent. Speech created by AI, like Google's Lambda, can be hard to distinguish from speech generated by people. It's surely a tip of the hat to the Google engineers who spent years creating models that generate grammatical, meaningful language. In the 1950s and earlier, n-gram models simply counted up the number of times specific words occurred and use them to predict the appearance of other words. For example, peanut butter and jelly is more probable than peanut butter and pineapples in English text. You will see peanut butter and jelly time and time again, but peanut butter and pineapples will not. Early attempts to create language-like models, however, had limited success. In addition to being trained on virtually all of the internet, Today's algorithms are much more advanced. They are able to associate words that are quite distant rather than just those that are near. Finally, even the engineers who design them are unable to understand why. Since there are just so many variables, it is hard to comprehend why one text is generated rather than another. The AI bot's task, however, is unchanged since the 1950s. Calculate with accuracy the best word to come next. They have come far and now are so good at this task that all speech they generate seems flowing and human-like. A researcher asked an advanced AI system to complete the sentence, peanut butter and pineapples. The AI responded with, peanut butter and pineapples are a great combination. The sweet and savory flavors of peanut butter and pineapple complement each other perfectly. If a human had said this, we would assume that they had already eaten peanut butter and pineapple together and had formed an opinion. But how did the AI come up with this original paragraph? By generating a word that fit the context we provided, and then another one, and then another one, the AI never ate or even smelled pineapples and peanut butter. It just processed all the texts on the internet that mentioned them. And yet hearing an AI bot say such things can lead the human mind, even that of a Google engineer, to imagine the chatbot as an intelligent being that can form its own opinion and have its own likes and dislikes about various food dishes. Large language models can engage in fluent discussions, but they do not have a fundamental message to express. So their utterances usually follow generic literary motives taken from the texts they were trained on. For example, if prompted with the subject of love, the AI might answer that it believes love conquers all, despite the fact that these words are interpreted 
as being the AI's opinion on the topic, they are simply a plausible string of words. The human brain primes the viewer to infer these words, but they are simply words logically constructed together. Nothing more. Will AI ever be sentient? Surely in the future, as neural networks become more and more complex. What research has determined, however, is that you cannot simply trust an AI chatbot when it tells you how it feels. Words can be misleading, and it is all too easy to mistake fluent speech for fluent thought. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button.